Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to our latest video in our series on the Laser Imprints Go Uno T-Shirt Transfer Printer. In this video, we're going to demonstrate our latest innovation, which is a new driver we have developed for this printer that we are calling the Laser Imprints Go Uno Driver version 2.0. What makes this driver different than the original Laser Imprints Go Uno driver is that in the original driver, the only papers that were programmed into the driver were NINA papers. In this version of the driver, we now have our Condi brand t-shirt transfer papers programmed to make it easier for you to be able to feed transfer paper through our Go Uno printer and print successful transfers. In this video, we'll lay down the parameters of the test that we are going to use to demonstrate the abilities of the new driver. After that, we'll demonstrate each Condi brand transfer paper as it feeds through the Go Uno printer using our latest driver so that we could show you the finished results. Then after that, we'll summarize our points and we'll tell you how you can download this driver from Condi Systems. So let's go ahead and get started with the new driver, the Laser Imprints Go Uno driver version 2.0. Now that we're here at the computer, let's discuss the parameters of our driver test. First, I am operating out of CorelDRAW X5. The graphic that I'm using is a close to full fill graphic that was provided by Great Dane Graphics. The reason I want to try something that is full fill is to make sure that with our new driver, the toner is bonding properly to the page. That is important. So what we'll do is we will go File, Print Preview to get into the Print Preview screen of CorelDRAW X5. Next, I will go to my print options and make sure that my Go Uno printer is selected. Now, let's go into the preferences of the Go Uno so we can access the driver. Remember, we want to make sure that when we're feeding transfer paper that our paper source is selected as the multi-purpose tray. When it comes to loading transfer paper into the multi-purpose tray, remember to load the paper print side up. Now, let's click on the Advanced button here so that we can access the PostScript driver. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use tabloid size transfer paper. In the driver here, I will turn my media check off to avoid any delays. Now, when it comes to the media type, I'll click on the pull down menu so that I can access all the different media types. If you have the original version of the driver, you will notice that papers such as the Technoprint, Laser Opaque, and Image Clip were already built in. But now with our version 2.0 of the driver, you should have four additional paper profiles entered. Laser Imprints Trim Free, Laser Imprints Opaque, Hard Surface 1, and LaserFlex CL. Since I have LaserFlex CL already loaded into my multipurpose tray, I'll go ahead and select LaserFlex CL as my media type. So let's click OK, apply the changes, and now let's send a print through the Go Uno printing onto LaserFlex CL transfer paper. So here is our printed sheet of LaserFlex CL. To make sure the toner is bonded properly, I want to perform what we call our tissue test, which is simply taking a white tissue, tracing it over the print to make sure that no toner comes off on our tissue. As long as there's no toner on the tissue, it means the toner is properly bonded to the page and we have a good print. So now let's move on to our next paper, Laser Imprints Opaque. Now that we're back at the computer, let's go ahead and set up the driver to print a sheet of Laser Imprints Opaque. I'll go back into my print options, make sure my Go Uno is selected, and click on Preferences to access the driver. 
I'll click on the Advanced button to access the PostScript options. And I'll go to my media type and change my media type from LaserFlex CL to Laser Imprints Opaque. I'll click OK, apply the changes, and now let's send a print through to the Go Uno printing onto Laser Imprints Opaque material. A beautiful result on laser imprints opaque. Now let's move on to the next paper we're going to test which is our laser imprints trim free transfer paper. Now that we're back at our computer let's test our third Condi brand transfer paper laser imprints trim free. Again I'll go into my print options in CorelDRAW X5. Make sure that the Go Uno printer is selected and click on Preferences to access the driver. Remember, make sure that your paper source is the multi-purpose tray. Let's click on the Advanced button to access the PostScript options, and let's go to our media type and change the media type to Laser Imprints Trim Free. We'll apply our changes, And now let's print to Laser Imprints Trim Free with our Condi Laser Imprints Go Uno Driver version 2.0. That is a beautiful looking print done onto Laser Imprints Trim Free. That's three papers down, one more to go. So let's go ahead and test our last paper, Laser Imprints Hard Surface. Now that we're back at our computer, let's test the last Condi brand transfer paper, which is Laser Imprints Hard Surface transfer paper. Now please remember we do have two versions of this paper, Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1, which is a self-weeding paper, and Laser Imprints Hard Surface 2, which is a solid film transfer. However, when it comes to running both of these papers through the Go Uno, we are going to use the same media type. All we have to do is go into our preferences, click on the advanced button here to access the driver, and simply change the media type to hard surface. Doesn't matter whether it's hard surface 1 or hard surface 2, this setting will work just fine. We'll click OK, apply our changes, and now let's print to Laser Imprints Hard Surface Paper. Again, another beautiful print onto Laser Imprints Hard Surface 1 using the Go Uno Color Laser Printer. So now let's quickly review what we've learned in today's video. We have a new driver for the Laser Imprints Go Uno that we are calling our Laser Imprints Go Uno Driver version 2. The main difference between this new driver and the original Go Uno Driver is that our Condi brand t-shirt transfer papers are now programmed in to the second version of the driver taking a lot of the guesswork out of selecting the correct media type to be able to successfully print to our brand of t-shirt transfer papers. When it comes to the Go Uno driver, it will be available for download on our website, which is www.condi.com. Go to the Go Uno landing page on our website and you should find both a PC and Macintosh version of the driver available for download. When it comes to the Windows version of this driver, it will be compatible with Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP, both the 32 and 64-bit versions of those drivers. When it comes to the Macintosh version of the driver, it will be compatible with Mac OS 10.4 through 10.7, which is usually the most current Mac operating systems there. So, remember, go to our Go Uno landing page on our Condi website 
and download our new version of the driver. Should you have any questions about downloading the driver, you can contact our technical support department directly at 1-800-826-6332 for any help or assistance. Until then, my name's Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours.